Hey, what's up everyone, it's Comlox, and yeah, I've been meaning to do this video for a while now, but I haven't really uh, got to it as of late, but yeah, I really want to do a quick rundown of the 2018 Tenocon uh, digital goodies. So uh, first off, I already have it equipped, we have the uh, Tenocon 2018 armor set, and it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, just because of just visual purposes, I'm going to move my Oberon over here to where the lighting is so harsh but yeah this arm set is really beautiful it has a very a minimalistic approach to it um yeah this is the first time we've gotten a whole armor set for instead of the usual signed dana for tenacon and this is probably the first time where we're actually able to get the armor set without having to be physically at tenacon um but yeah, um, it's very angular. It colors really well for the for as thin and I guess as small as the armor set looks. It it just looks really nice. Um, I think it also looks better on like slender frames as well. Um, but then again, Oberon is a fashion frame god, right? Right? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah. This is the 2018 Tenacon armor set, and just as a little cool thing that I thought DE did that was a really cool design, is that if you look closely on the shoulder plating, there's Oricon Scripture. It's really cool. Not that I can transcribe it, I'm pretty sure there's a guide out there somewhere for it. Um, but if I could, I would. But yeah, this is really awesome. And so the next thing that was in the digital goodies set was the 2018 Tenocon Glyph. And for those of you who've gotten the pack, I, I believe I bought the collector's package, which comes with the shirt as well, if you're, for any of you those are going. Um, but you can access the Glyph through profile in your escape menu. Scroll down the Glyph, and to access this, you can just type in the search bar so you don't have to scroll way down. And yeah, it's right there. It's right next to the 2017 glyph if you bought last year's uh, digital goodie pack. But yeah, you can just double click it and then boom, it is applied. And note, you can also apply this to a glyph display, which is shown here in the front of my ship, right here. And to do that, you can just press equipment, landing craft, landing craft, sorry. And you can go into decorate mode and you can just press 2 to edit the picture contents and if you go to swap glyph you can change any glyph that you have in your possession or in your inventory or if you've got and yeah that's pretty much it for the glyph um, have it right next to the 2017 glyph of course and the next thing we have is a 2018 Tenocon display which is really cool because if you look to the left I have the 2017 one and definitely um, it's really interesting because if you look, it's it still has like that parchment, like scroll kind of feel, texture to it. Definitely really cool. Um, it's a bit darker than last year's, but I'm guessing it's probably to show. I like to think that's like, you know, as Warframe is aging. Um, but yeah, that's just me and my imaginary head sometimes. I like to think things for more than what they are sometimes. Um, but yeah. What's really cool is that if you look at 2017 Glyph, um, it definitely gives a hint of what came that year. Um, definitely Plains of Eidolon, and that was really cool. And yeah, and I'm kind of thinking since 2018's theme here is like a bunch of planets, uh, you know, maybe we can expect something along those lines in the huge Tenocon 2018 reveal. Um, but yeah, that's. That is what's given so far in the goodies pack. And last but not least, we have a 2018 Tenocon Sigil, which I believe I do have it. Hold on, let me... Just for all, in purpose, all, all for display purposes, I will remove the chest plate so you can better see the sigil. Um, go back to Regalia, and then boom, front sigil, and yeah, and this is the Tenacon 2018 sigil. Ugh, it doesn't show up very well. Uh, let me see if I could switch, so you guys can see it better. Eh, 
Hold on a second. Hey, oh, wait, I could probably just... Yeah, I can change that. I'll make it black just so you could see it. Uh, Regalia. Yeah, yep, this is the 2018 sigil. It looks really cool. And yeah, it has like this... In a way, they kind of like sun rays. I wonder if that has anything or any correlation with uh, the 2018 display. I wonder if it has something to do with the sun, maybe. Hmm. But yeah, um, this is the 20, uh, 2018 Tenocon sigil. And I think that is the last thing that was included in the pack that was physical. I think the last thing that was given for, for the digital goodies pack is um, you'll be also be given uh, access to Barokatir's Tenocon relay which I'm guessing would be opened again on the day of Tenocon. Um, but yeah, Barrel will be bringing everything that he has in rotation uh, into a stock for the, I guess, for the time period that he'll be there, which is, I think, like three days. They might extend this year. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, it's plenty of, plenty of time he'll be around for it with his whole stock. Um, but yeah, that is the Tenocon 2018 digital goodies and congrats to anyone who actually managed to get the VIP and legendary pack um, those are amazing um, but yeah that is a rundown of the 2018 Tenocon digital goodies pack and yeah I'll see you Tenno in the next video later guys